Hello, I'm Raymond Burr. As usual, I'm working on a dramatic case. But in this instance, I'm a prosecuting attorney, an accuser. There's a lot of evidence on my side, a pretty clear-cut indictment against many people. Some of them may be your neighbors. The story involves a killer who is still at large, and nobody seems to be doing much to stop him. Remember, what you're going to see and hear is only part of the evidence. The full testimony is a matter of public record. I suggest you watch closely. For you, too, may be very much involved in the case of the interrupted morning. Another day starting. A good one, looks like. Every morning the sun rises bright, it's as though we're all reborn. There are things to do and nothing we can't do. A pretty new morning is probably the most optimistic time in the world. It's an experience we all promise ourselves to enjoy more often. Time and the future are friendly forces. Only the best part of the past makes any difference. And only whatever we want to happen is going to happen. Today, well, tomorrow anyhow, something really wonderful has to happen. There's a freshness, newness, a promise. Now, time is an enemy, a force against us. We've got to defeat time. One of these cars was heading south on Maple Street, doing about 30, road surface dry. The other one was traveling west on Route 9, not more than 35. Two passengers were thrown from the vehicles. It would be hard to determine which driver was responsible. But right now, there are more important matters to consider. The point now is that there are people to be put back together, if possible. important thing about any accident is here. How badly are the people hurt? Can they be patched up? The accident could have been caused by either or both drivers. A blind corner, faulty brakes, a dirty windshield, any one of a hundred things. But now, the causes are less important than the effects. Now the task is to minimize the effects of the accident. beautiful, hopeful morning has been shattered, and there are people to repair.
It is a simple fact that hundreds of thousands of people get hurt a lot worse and a lot more often than they should in automobile accidents. More than 24,000 people die every year in automobile accidents, most of them unnecessarily. Traffic accident injury and death are an epidemic, an epidemic that can be checked. It's impossible to be certain, but this looks like another one of those cases that might have been prevented by seatbelts. I'm sure he knew about them. The Public Health Service, the American Medical Association, the National Safety Council, everyone involved recommends them. How can people ignore them? Such a simple thing. Seatbelts. They've been telling the people about them for years. They've proved their value. Years of research, how can people ignore that? Uh, I'm tired. Tired of patching up damage that's really unnecessary. Auto accident injuries, they seem so wasteful. People thrown from cars, through windshields. Is it possible that not anybody in either of those cars knew about seat belts? I just don't believe it. Most people don't think they're going to have an accident. Well, most people are wrong. The odds are six out of ten that in the next five years you will have a traffic accident. Six out of ten. Those are mighty impressive odds. And those statistics apply to every driver, good driver as well as bad. Give him another unit of blood while he's in the recovery room, please. Yes, doctor. Thank you. Hang on, Ted. I'll walk down with you. You know, that's very interesting, doctor. I just heard what you were telling a nurse about seat belts. Well, you know, six out of ten is poor odds when you realize how many of these people will be killed or crippled. I don't know, I guess it's hard to change the odds on having an accident, but you can take advantage of the protection offered by seat belts. How much do you know about traffic accidents, Ted? Well, do you know these facts? Fact one, your chances of being killed are five times as great if you're thrown from your car. Fact two, and this will surprise you, more than half the accidents causing injury or death involve speeds of less than 40 miles an hour. Studies show that serious injuries have been reduced over a third by the use of seat belts. That's enough. But still, people say, just for around town, no long trips that require any so-called extra protection. Well, the fact is that three out of four traffic deaths occur within 25 miles of the home of the victim. You a good driver, Ted? Skillful, cautious, no accidents so far? Well, so am I. But the odds still apply to us, because the highways are filled with unskillful, incautious drivers. They don't know our safety record. And it's an established fact that the seatbelt is the most effective single item of protective equipment available today to reduce this toll of traffic injuries and deaths. Scientific studies in laboratories and on the highway prove this. Any messages, nurse? Yes, there's a call for Dr. Paul. Yeah, thank you. Paul. Say, nurse, could you let me have that brochure from the University of California? Yes. Thank you. Take a look at this, Paul. Here at the University of California's Institute of Transportation and Traffic Engineering, scientists stage automobile crashes with real cars. Their painstaking research adds further proof that seat belts can save lives. The victims of these crashes are anthropometric dummies built to represent human beings in crash tests. These dummies are instrumented to record the shocks and indicate the types of injuries which the human body would receive in similar crashes. Watch closely as the camera stops the action in a typical crash test. See what happens to the dummy not protected by a seatbelt? Death certainly would be his fate if he were human. After data on possible injuries have been recorded, Crash tests are repeated to double-check the findings. This time, the dummies are strapped in with seatbelts. And as before, 
wired to sensitive measuring devices, which record the shock sustained during the crash. Here they go again. These dummies were saved from violent contact with the car structure. Seat belts gave them that margin of safety, which can mean the difference between life and death. Here's an interesting accident sequence shot in slow motion. We'll see it from above, from the ground, and also from within the car itself. Notice how the bodies are banged around inside the car, a major cause of death and injury in crashes. Seat belts would have saved these dummies from the death-dealing impacts that they are taking here. These tests and other research conducted by dedicated scientists elsewhere tell the same story about the life-saving values of seat belts. In each and every research program on this subject, the results support this simple conclusion. If you're using a seat belt, you have a much better chance of surviving a crash. Probably seen this sort of accident test or something similar to what before. There's so much proof, so many reasons. Ted, it's plain and simple. Let me ask you, do you have seat belts in your car? Do you use them? No, I have to admit I don't. Well, look, my car's parked right over here. Would you like to take a look at it? Yeah, I sure would. You know, somehow I got the idea that these seat belts were inconvenient. You're kidding. You mean that's your reason for not using seat belts? Ah. Inconvenient? Are polio shots inconvenient? My golly, actually, seat belts are comfortable. But if you're worried about your car catching fire or going underwater, even in these cases, seat belts can still push the odds your way. Actually, less than 1% of all injury-producing traffic accidents involve fire or submersion. And by keeping you from being knocked unconscious, a seat belt could enable you to escape. Look. You're unfastened in a second. Ted, using a seatbelt is a common sense measure that can help protect you, possibly even save your life. But you've got to use it. Sissy, FBI agents, state troopers, racing drivers, they wear seatbelts. Installation points are being built into new cars for seatbelts. This is not just a whim. As you can see, I have them for my whole family. Well, you've certainly convinced me. I'm going to get them. I hope so. Look, well, we see you uh, later on tonight, then, huh? Yeah, Ted, around 8. OK, good boy. Am I overworking it? I don't think so. The facts have been around for a long time. And still, seat belts have been installed in only a small fraction of the cars on the road today. And most people who have them don't always use them. There were seat belts in one of those cars in this morning's accident. But they were not in use. I can't imagine a more purposeless way of being hurt than in an automobile accident. It seems pointless enough to be in an accident, but it's possible you can't always avoid it. What you can do, what I can do, the least we can all do is cut the odds and the kinds of injuries that result from these accidents. Seatbelts. It's that simple. Remember, your chances of being killed are five times as great if you're thrown from your car. More than half the accidents involving death or injury result from speeds of less than 40 miles an hour. Serious injuries can be reduced by more than a third by the use of seat belts. How can you sensibly deny? Well, there you are. I had hoped to spend the night at home with my own family, but that siren means I'll be called back. I only hope it isn't someone I know. Even more important, I hope it isn't you.
Well, that wraps up the case of the interrupted morning. The solution rests with you. Have you ever thought seriously that you or your family might be added to the long, long list of this killer's victims? It might very well be. Especially if you continue to extend such a cordial invitation. Look, many years of research have proved that in an automobile accident, the seat belt offers the greatest amount of protection from death or injury. It's not a point of argument, it's a matter of fact. Seat belts in your family car save injury and save lives. Now, I'll tell you something quite honestly. Living is a very important thing to me. I have a hunch living is just as important to you and your family. Install seat belts in your car, don't waste any more time. 